It was another day of tough questions for Premier Doug Ford and Housing Minister Steve Clark. But in the end, Ford is standing by his minister and Clark is refusing to step down. Adam Atkinson joins us live with those details. Adam, good evening. Yeah, Taz, there were a lot of media conferences today and they were all a little bit heated. The opposition is calling for Minister Clark to either be fired or step down, while the Premier is sticking to his gun, saying repeatedly, more houses need to be built. What it would take for a minister to be fired or for you to ask for his resignation. It was a firing squad of questions from the media today for Premier Doug Ford and his embattled housing minister, Steve Clark. How is it possible you failed at this key role, at this pivotal moment for your government. I mean, why don't you resign today, Minister? I, I, I'm here to accept responsibility, um, Richard, for um, the lack of oversight I had in the process. I want to make it very clear uh, to Ontarians that uh, I'm sorry that we didn't do a better job and that I personally didn't do a better job uh, in terms of the oversight. CHCH Queen's Park producer Randy Rath asked the Premier about accountability. The Integrity Commissioner found that Mr. Clark buried his head in the sand mm -hmm. while his rookie Chief of Staff led a chaotic and almost reckless process that was marked by deception. Do you not believe in ministerial accountability like Mr. Clark used to demand from the Liberals when, he was, when you guys were in opposition? Yeah, I appreciate that, Randy. I have confidence in Minister Clark. He has a big file. I take full responsibility. The buck stops with me. And despite the controversy, Premier Ford said the most important thing is to build homes. We understand the process could be better, but our goal at the end of the day is to build 1.5 million homes at minimum. We're going to build them. We're going to do everything we can. We're going to use every single tool we can. I believe that the minister will eventually step down. But the opposition continued to call for Clark's resignation. What he did was wrong. What he did was fail the people of Ontario. He failed this legislature. And he should have stepped down today. The Premier has failed the accountability test. The Minister has failed the accountability test. And that is why we are calling for the Minister to be removed from Cabinet. Why we are calling on this government to reverse the corrupt process that led to this Greenbelt scandal and return all Greenbelt lands to full protected status. And that is not likely to happen. In fact, Premier Ford doubled down today, threatening developers who own land in the Greenbelt to start building houses or else. Tess? All right, Adam Atkinson reporting live. Thank you, Adam. We asked Phil Pothen from the group Environmental Defense for his reaction to Clark's apology, and he certainly didn't mince words. Listen to this. He was like a burglar who apologized for robbing our house uh, while refusing to return the stuff he took and hoping we wouldn't notice. I don't know how dumb they seem to think the Ontario public is. Pothin says there is no prospect of Minister Clark or the Ford government getting out of the scandal without reversing the Greenbelt removals in their entirety. At one point during today's news conference, things got very personal. Premier Ford went head to head with a reporter, seemingly attacking him for where he lives. But another reporter came to his defense. Take a look at this. Premier, okay. at, at what point do, do you take personal responsibility here? And how are people to have trust in your leadership? I'm sure you just walked down the street from your home, that you have a home. But do you know many people don't have a home, Colin? There's hundreds, hold on, there's hundreds of thousands of people that home, hold it. There's hundreds of thousands of people that don't have homes. I, I think, to follow up on Colin's question, I, I, I don't think that people love the idea of you attacking reporters for where they live. I don't have a home, and, I'm, and, I, and I think it's the, same, it's the same thing. How can people have confidence in your government? Siobhan, first of all, I've been dealing with Colin for 10 years. I give him the utmost respect, and it works both ways. You, you don't attack me, I don't attack him. But you know something? The Premier clearly rattled by the interaction. He went on to say he's sorry if he offended the reporter's feelings.